ladies and gentlemen, I am JJ Jerry Jenkins, and welcome to Nordhausen, Germany. Today, we will be having Unlimited Wrestling's first show. Check out our ring announcer, Salva the Voice, down at ringside, letting you know the business as we get down to our first match. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard it right there. This match is for one fall. Coming to the ring first. Yes, from Berlin, Germany. They call him the Berliner Schnoz, a.k.a. the Berlin Snout. And accompanied by this lovely woman here, we are seeing Nicholas Kluf. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. This guy has one of the biggest mouths in the business, but he also brings a rough style with a lot of aggression in the ring. Mercy is not a word that he practices. With his offensive behavior, it's easy to dislike this Berlin wrestler, but that's fine that he doesn't want to press anyone. He doesn't care. His mission, oh, look at him talking back to the fans here, whoa. His mission is to be the best wrestler in the roster, even if that means he has to step over the corpses of all his competitors. He thinks the title belongs to him. He thinks all the titles belong to him. He thinks it's also not arrogant if he can back it up. Look at him making the lady hold the ropes for him to get in the ring here. And there he is, showing off. Showing off, even though the fans don't, don't really care for him here. Yep, nobody's cheering as you can see. But he is the man in his own eyes, Nicholas Kluth. And he's got his his uh, work cut out for him today. Oh look, he's uh, asking for a mic here. So uh, let him talk. Come back, get back. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's gonna make the girl take his coat off. How unchivalrous! Stop. Up, oh, takes the glasses off. You know he means business. about Nordhausen it seems. Alle haben mir gesagt, boah, Nordhausen. Hier, Unlimited Wrestling, das wird die neue Nummer 1. Aber kann keine Nummer 1 geben ohne die Nummer 1 des deutschen Catches. Ich bin der beste deutsche Catcher in keiner großen Liga gebucht. Ihr habt das Privileg, mich zu sehen. Listen to the booze. Also, They're not liking what he's saying. <laughs> Don't laugh. King fucking Clute. By Unlimited Wrestling. By the first Groß Veranstaltung. This guy thinks he's the best in Unlimited Wrestling, but we're going to have to see it here. John Klinger. Walter! Ilya Dragunov! Sind nicht gekommen! Dafür haben wir Monier! Und ich bin auch enttäuscht! Ja, so ein abgehalteten Piraten! Aber wisst ihr was? Den Kleen, den mache ich jetzt fertig! Beweis! Oh, and he's been interrupted here! We're gonna see his opponent come out! They've cut his mic! Yep! There he goes. He's gonna have his work cut out for him here, as he's gonna be taking on one of the mightiest, the Buccaneer, the Wrestling Pirate, straight from the Seven Seas. It's Marcus Moneer. And look at him here, ready for action, ready for adventure. This guy is a real pirate. Everywhere he goes, the crowd loves him with his charismatic and over-the-top antics. Yes, he's been in the business for a long time and made a lot of friends and enemies. He 
He was trained by some of the best names in the German wrestling scene, like Rick Baxter and Axel Tischl, and better known as uh, Alexander Wolf in the WWE's Imperium. Yes, Lanier brings a hard and technical style, but he will never forget to deliver the fun that they deserve to these fans. Yes, Marcus Lanier. Oh, he said he's gonna break him, but he throws the bandana at him. Here we go. Already, you can feel the animosity as the referee tries to separate him here. Lanier taking his coat off. Ref telling the lady to get out of the ring here. It's time for the boys to play. Oh, he's got some words of his own. Ah! Oh, 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 seems behind him. Oh, 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 he's got the rally call going. And they're into it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, he's got him riled up here. Oh, he seems to like the showmanship. Wants to try his own hat at it. Oh, they're not having it. Nothing but booze for him. <laughs> All right, it seems comedy hour is over. It's time for the action, ladies and gentlemen. There's the bell. Here we go. Here they are, pacing the ring, staring at each other in anticipation, and here we come. Go with the good old collar and elbow tie-up. Here we go. Down to Mane. Goes Maneer. Nicholas has got the advantage here. Nope, nope. Maneer pushing him into the corner, and uh, the rest going to have to separate here and break it up. Nicholas pushing him away. No, oh, Nicholas with the slap there. Jesus. He's trying to tell the ref he slapped him, but the ref didn't see it, so the ref's just going to let it go. He said, did you hit him? He's like, no, I didn't do that. And we go back into the action. Got a cheap shot there. Here we go another again with another tie tie up here. Yes, uh, Manier pushing him into the corner here. And uh, the ref's going to break it up again here in the corner. And, ah, another slap by Nicholas Kluth. I can't believe it. And he's trying to tell the ref, and the ref just doesn't believe it. He's so oblivious, not paying attention here. What a bad ref. We need a better ref out here. Nicholas Kloos getting away with murder here. And here comes Marcus Medea coming in. Oh, no, he got him in a headlock. Kloos got him in a headlock. He's wrenching it. Look at him. Oh, nice takedown there. And he's got him on the ground. Is he going to submit him? Oh, look at him choke him here. One with a pin. Nope. He's got him back in the, in the choke here. Whoa, he rolls it back over, Manier, one, two, oh, he almost had Nick there. Oh, Nicholas Klute there, got back in the headlock, though, he's got him back up, he's going to stand back up with it here, what's he going to do, oh, Manier's got him off the ropes now, here he comes, oh, right hand here, Nicholas Klute takes him down, and he's going to brag here about it, here he goes, off the ropes, up, oh, back and forth, here we go, up, oh, close line duck, nope, Back again, off the ropes. Goes down. When here. Oh, what a slap of his own. Payback. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, payback. Manier got that slap back in. And the ref said, hey, I saw you slap him here. Oh, here comes Kluth. Oh, arm drag takedown. Yes. Oh, and another one. Marcus Manier. Gas it up here. Taunted him in. Oh, missed clothesline. Ducks under. Oh, back off the ropes again. Ducks under that elbow. Ducks again. Oh, nice drop kick. Well done. Well placed there by Marcus Manier. And there's a round of applause from the audience. Yeah, Manier's going to get into the corner here. Oh, nice little stomp there. Oh, Manier looks like he may be going up high risk here. He's going up. Here it is. He's, he's pointing in the air. We got the drone live footage here. Oh, 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 here he goes up and oh, another slap. Oh, man, the third one of the match. Oh, and he hit the ground there. No padding here. No padding here at Unlimited. It is hardcore on that outside. It is brutal and it hurts. Marcus Manier is going to have to answer the rest count here. 
Yeah. Looks like he's up to five. Here he goes off the ropes. Nicholas Kluge. Back and forth. What is he doing? And another slap. What a build up for just a slap. Jesus. Insulting. Not doing too much damage, but definitely insulting him and angering him. And maybe he'll make some mistakes here. Oh, he whips Marcus Muneer into the barricade here. What's he going to do? Oh, he's pointing his lady. Oh, a nice chop across the chest a la Ric Flair. Oh, and a little bit of trash talking to go with it. Oh, but here comes Muneer back with a right hand. Oh, Nicholas hits him on the apron. That is brutal. And uh, he's, what does he call it? Some water here. He's going to take a drink. He's a little parched here. No, oh, he spits in his face. What disgracefulness. Is there no sportsmanship anymore, ladies and gentlemen? As Nicholas throws him back into the ring. Veneers clinching his head there from uh, hitting, the, hitting the apron there. Oh, Kluge comes down with the right foot. Stopping a hole in him. There he is on the ground, still trying to get up. Nicholas Kluge back to this trash-talking ways. Kluge steps on his, uh, his back there with the leg on the ropes. The rest going to have to count to five, and now he's going to let it go before he before he gets disqualified here. Uh, he's got Maneer by the back of the head here. What's he going to do? Oh, a nice clubbing blow, taking him down here into a knee. Maneer's trying to get back up, and oh, he fights back with a couple of right hands of his own three. Boom, a nice back kick. What's he going to do? Oh, he's pointing to the ropes. He runs. Oh, Nicholas Kluth runs back in with a knee and throws him back down to the mat. Here he goes off the ropes. And uh, boom, knee drop to the face. Drop one, two, and a kick out here by Maneer. Not enough to put him away, ladies and gentlemen. Maneer has got the fighting spirit of a bear. Here he goes. Oh, the Pirates into the corner here. And Nicholas Kluke here, ready to take down the Buccaneer. He looks like he's gonna rush him in the corner here. He runs, boom, running clothesline, yes. Oh, a little cockiness to go with it. Here he comes again, boom, number two. Is he gonna go for three? Third time the charm to knock him out. Oh, back elbow by Maneer. And Maneer with another back elbow. What is Maneer gonna do? Oh, kick to the face, Marcus Maneer. Here he goes, he's stomping the foot. Calling for some action, here he runs in. Boom, hit with a kick. There it is, one, two, and a kick out. Wow, oh, he's thinking to himself, what has he gotta do to put away Maneer? That was a kick right to the stomach. Could have took down just about anyone. Here he is, going for maybe a suplex, yes. Boom, hitting the mat. Cover, one, two, and Maneer still kicks out at two. Oh, he said that was three, ref. You better, better count back to a normal speed, not a slow pace. Here he goes, oh, the crowd's trying to get behind Maneer here, but Nicholas Kluge's gonna pick him up again, and boom, right hand. Oh, he got him face there. Oh, and he's chopping him down. You can see the, the wear and tear finally starting to set in here on Marcus Maneer. Here he goes off the corner here. Boom, Maneer with a boot, and it is stunned Nicholas Kluge. Look at him drop like a sack of potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to roll out, though, so he can't get the pin. Smart maneuver here. Smart maneuver, and he's being tended to by his lovely lady. Escort thing here, manager. I'm not quite sure what their situation is here. Marcus Maneer, ball up and over the ropes. No, and he's taking him down. The rest got to check him here, make sure he's still conscious. Can't continue the match if he can't stand. He's going to pick him up. What's he going to do? Oh, it's payback time. Here we go. Chop across the chest, youch! He's gonna feel that one in the morning. Here he goes, throwing him back into the ring. Marcus Maneer, what are you gonna do? Looks like he's gonna go high risk again. Call it up and over the top rope there. Boom, he got him! 
One, two, what a kick out here by Nicholas Kluth. Now Marcus Manier is wondering what he's got to do to put Kluth away. As he gets to his head here, he picks him up. Oh, but here's calling for it. He's got the right hand. Here it is. Boom, and a wind-up. Boom, and another one. He's going to go for the third. No, Kluth with that slap again. Boom, with a nice elbow. Boom, with a slap back. And a slap back. And a, we got us a slap fight. Boom, a European uppercut. Boom, right hand. Where are we going from here? Oh, Marcus Manier coming back in with those elbows and rights. Boom. And he's going to go off the rope. Here he comes. Oh, what a clothesline by Nicholas Kluth. Cover. One, two. No, oh, it was only a two count. You can see the frustration on his face here, ladies and gentlemen. He thought he had him put away with that one. He said, get up. How much more can he take? They're yeah. pushing him off here. Oh, Nick, Nicholas Kloop gonna pick him up. Oh, reversal here. Oh, back elbow by Kloop though. Back off the ropes. Boom, what a jumping kick here. Marcus Manier. Setting up here. No, oh, he thought he was going to finish him. No, there goes a nice elbow. And Kluth got him from behind. Bam, coming blow to the back here. Oh, is he going to go for the German suplex? Boom, and Berlin's finest shows you the German suplex here. One, two, and a, oh, just barely. Two and a half, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get much closer than that here at Unlimited Wrestling. We are bringing you the action. And Manier is still in it. Very shaken. Very stirred. The emotions in this match. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now Clue's going to go back to bragging. Oh, tells him to suck it. But he needs to get back to business and take care of an ear here. Don't give him time to recover. Oh, a little slap there. Uppercut slap. He's going to come back here. What's he going to do? Pick him up here. No, oh, he's going to go for it. No, nope. here he comes. But here, choke him. No, nope. oh, he's going for that finish again. Is it time? Oh, there it is. Oh, he reversed it. Oh, sent on right on his back. Nicholas Kluth may be looking to end it here. Oh, look, is it time for the Buster call? There it is, the Buster call, it's over. Count him out, ref. One, two, then he kicked out of the Buster call. Oh my God. He cannot believe it. Look at the look of astounded. Uh, he's I'm speechless myself, look at him. He doesn't know what to do. This guy has lost every bit of train of thought. He's hit him with his finisher, the Buster Call. Nobody kicks out of the Buster Call. What's he going to do? He looks like he's going to go for it. Nope, he's not going to go for it. He's going to go for a, a tombstone maybe here. No, nope. reversed again. Boom, back elbow by Manier. Manier off the ropes. Boom, with a nice kick. And he's going to go for it again. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Shipwreck. Boom, there it is. He finally hit it. One, two, three, it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. Give the W to Marcus Manier and a big old L to Nicholas Clute. Many would have considered him the underdog in this match, but he came through with a solid win here, ladies and gentlemen, hitting the shipwreck and getting the win by pinfall. Gonna head back to the seven seas and celebrate. Maybe not. He looks like he's going face down to the mat. Uh, Nicholas Klute here being uh, consulted here by his manager. There goes Marcus Benier to get his little bit of celebration in from the fans as he grabs his pirate hat. and gets ready to ride back to the seven seas, the Buccaneer. 
Marcus Munir with the win, ladies and gentlemen, in our first match today here at Unlimited Wrestling. Uh, you can see the wrestling pirate looks like he just had a, himself a whole jug of rum, but it's that match work. He just put it in and he's ready to go home. Oh, he's ready to go drink some himself. He's calling for the rum. He's going to go back and have him a jolly good time. Yo ho ho. Getting high fives from the kids and the fans. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Munir. Liebe Freunde, liebe Fans, willkommen zum nächsten Match des Abends. Und es ist ein Four-Way Dance Match und angesetzt auf einen Fall. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a good one. Let's see who's coming out here first. Oh, there he is, the Titan, Chris Titan. From right here in Germany, yes. 5'11", 224 pounds. Yes, Chris Titan, he's a rookie of the wrestling Jim Harz. Uh, Chris is a real powerhouse. His actions are bare strength and he's full of hardness. Sometimes you get the feeling that he doesn't feel any pain at all. There he is, Chris Titan, ladies and gentlemen. He had his experience down in uh, Next Step Wrestling, where he uh, had a strong look and made the crowd get over real well. Oh no, it's not this guy. It's coming straight from the asylum. It's Chris Tyson, aka the Madness. Standing at 507, 187. He is just a, a basket of craziness. Look at him here. Oh man, he's gonna get high fives though. Get those high fives. You wouldn't uh, want to touch a crazy man's hand. I'm not sure these parents, uh, you know, let their children around this guy. He seems pretty crazy. Look at him, man. He's uh, got that Devil's Lock DDT. And, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty vicious, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there he is, Madness Chris Tyson. Look at it, he's ready to finish it already. You can see the insanity in those eyes. Nothing but unbridled rage. Next from uh, Dresden, Germany, we got a... Uh... Oh, yes. It, it, could it be? Yes, it is old school. Daddy Black. This guy is an old school wrestler. You can tell by his just his attire. No flips, no flippy shit for him. Just bare fist and hard actions. His experience might not be the best, but his focused attitude can change the direction of a match in mere seconds. Look at this man. He's a mastermind when it comes to strategy. But is he fun in a match? Nah, no. That's not allowed. No fun in his matches. It's all strategy. It's all submission. It's all ground game. No one should count this man out any time. He's looking to lock it in that uh, full Nelson slam and take somebody down. But uh, it's going to be a rough one. And lastly... Also, from Dresden, Germany, at a 5'8", 220 pounds, the master of the split-legged moonsault, no other than Otto Stahl. Yes, Otto here, ready to go to work. Look at him. He looks like a brutish bull. 
All business. No high fives here. No handshakes. None of that. He is here to work. He looks like a force to be reckoned with here. Now, if I was a betting man, man, I'd be stuck between him and Chris Tyson. You got the craziest guy and the guy who looks the most brutal pretty much here versus your wrestling skill guy here in Denny Black and uh, your rookie here in Chris Titan. I'm really not sure who's going to come out. Whoa, there we go. Denny Black out the gate. Going to get him in the corner there. Now we got all kinds of action going on here. Denny Black with a kick here. Boom, Chris Tyson down to the mat with those chops. And oh, look who's going to join in. Otto Stall here. Oh, now Denny's going to go over and get the rookie, Chris Titan. And here comes the beatdowns in the corners. Oh, here we go. Is it going to be a double Irish whip here? Oh, double reversal. Oh, they stopped it. What the, oh, what is this? They're hugging each other. No, oh, drop kick into a... There's some kind of DDT there. Oh, here comes uh, Chris Chris Tyson here picking up Denny Black. And, whoa, neck breaker. Excellent job there. Oh, the rookie stud, but he got him. Oh, and he flips it back on top of him. That's a cover. One. Oh, Chris Tyson uh, picking him up here with a double suplex with Chris Titan. The Chris's. Yeah, are they going to work together? Oh, he's going to pick him up and throw him at him. They're having a little bit of trouble there, stumbling. And there he goes. Oh, he drops him right on him. Uh, are they going to go for another du a double suplex here? They're we're working together quite well here. Double suplex. Both the Chris's putting together some work here. Oh, yes. The crazy man calling out to the crowd. And Chris Titan trying to get the crowd behind him as well here. Tyson going to oh, it looks like a double body slam. Oh, they're holding it up. Look at that display of strength here, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the crowd going, but he's losing his grip. No, double body slam. The Chris's are having it here. Got Denny on the outside. He's a... Uh, Holding his back there. He may have got hurt there. And, uh, we're getting the crowd riled up here again. Oh, here we go. Chris Tyson and uh, Chris Titan going at it now. No more uh, camaraderie here. Well, goes for the clothesline. Oh, he missed it, but he gets the back. He's going to pick him up. Oh, look at him. No, oh, reversal. Slap. Wow. It slapped the teeth out of his mouth, it looked like. Here he comes. He's going to grab him here. He's got him in a headlock now. Chris Titan going with the punches in the headlock. Oh, nice shot to the back. And uh, oh, 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 here comes Chris Tyson pushing him in the corner. Whoa, he goes for a drop kick and misses there. Chris Titan gets out of the way. Look at, look at Tyson there. Almost knocked the wind out of himself. Trying to recover. Titan uh, appears to have something in his eye. Here he comes, here he comes, calling him over. Oh, look at that. Oh, belly to belly, taking him down. Whoop, whoop. Gotta watch out out there for Otto Stall and Denny Black. There they go, back and forth with the ones and twos. Oh, Chris tightened into the ring post, and that one was gonna ring. Jesus. You can hear the sound of that. Oh man, he is out. Looks like Chris Tyson is about to be a sandwich between Denny Black and Otto Stahl, but he's going back and forth on the ropes here. Oh, a kick to the stomach, and now there they go. Hammering him down to the mat. And the booze ensue. Here we go with a double suplex of their own. Boom, and there goes Chris Tyson. Uh, Denny ordering Otto Stahl over there. Maybe to set him up here for something. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, Chris Titan may be recovering out there from his injury from the, the ring post there. And uh, there goes Chris Tyson into the corner. And oh, uh, he's gonna whip. He's gonna whip Denny Black. Boom! Weddy Black with the clothesline. And here comes Otto Stall. Whoa! Right on top. 
take it out. Chris Titan on the outside there with that uh, nice elbow. And now they're going to go back to work on Chris Tyson here. Denny Black hitting him with the punches and elbows. We can let Otto Stahl take over for a moment here. But you got to wonder how long this friendship is going to last here. It's got to break down eventually. Otto Stahl putting in some work here on Chris Tyson. Calling back over Denny Black. They're going to double Irish whip here. No, back into the corner here. And then, uh, are they going to go for it again? Wear him down. Nope, into the other corner. Nope, now he's going to whip Otto into a boom. What an avalanche. And here he comes. Boom with a clothesline from Denny Black. They are working, Mr. Tyson here. Uh-oh, here we call him for that. Oh, man, a double clothesline. Knocked him silly. And now they're talking that trash. Comes Otto Stahl, goes for a clothesline up. Denny Black goes for one. Oh, a double clothesline by the rookie, Chris Titan. Call it for him up. Here comes Otto Stahl back. Oh, nice. Oh, here it comes Spine Buster. Excellent job there. Got him. And it, here it goes. Boom! He hit it. That was the F-16, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Daddy misses the clothesline. Boom! German suplex drops him to the ground. He's got to take advantage here. Goes to cover. One, two, and oh! Chris Tyson breaks the fall. Chris Tyson, oh, with a nice knee to Chris Titan. Tyson, whoa, he's got to watch out for Denny there. Denny got him from behind. Going for a half Nelson. Oh, and he takes him down there. Here comes Tyson running at him. Oh, into the corner. It's Denny Black. Oh, he got hit with a boot, though. Didn't get what he was going for here. Here comes Chris Tyson all the way to the top. Oh, whoa, leapfrogs over him. Misses the big boot. No, oh, that was a little bit of both there. Let's see what. Let's see. Oh, the full Nelson. Oh, dropped him down. Full Nelson slam. That's his finish. Gonna go for the cover. He's telling uh, Otto to go up. No. Gonna have Otto. Otto going for that split legged moonsault. Here he goes. Such a big man, so graceful. Split legged moonsault, there it is. Cover, but no, Denny said no, 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 no. Get out of here, we're not buddies anymore. It's time to take this win for myself. One, two, and a kick out. Chris Tyson is not out yet, ladies and gentlemen. He just went through a full Nelson slam and a split legged moonsault. That's two finishers back to back. Whoa, here comes Chris Titan. Pearl Harbor out of nowhere on Teddy Black. Hitting him with the punches into the corner. There we go with the elbow. Boom, and another punch. Here he goes up against the ropes. Going to take him to the other corner. And is he going to whip him? Here he goes. Oh, reversed by Teddy Black into the corner. Here comes Teddy Black. And up, up and over the rope. Chris Titan, nice boot drops him on top of Otto and they're both down. Comes down to Chris Titan. Oh, Chris Tyson hits Chris Titan into the corner. And Tyson. Oh, there it is. Devil Lock DDT. One, two, three. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all. Your winner, Chris Tyson, the madness. The madman who's a power keg ready to explode. Nobody is safe. You don't know who's his friends, who's his enemies. He's dangerous. He likes to hurt people with his style. He's a threat to everyone. He came home with the victory tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Tyson, the madness. Give it up for him. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Unlimited Wrestling's first show, and thank you for joining us here. We've got lots more to come, so don't take off anywhere. This is not time to take a break, because we got lots of action coming.
everybody else here is gathering the pieces. Titan realized he lost, but he's gonna, you know, get his little props here from the crowd. There comes our ring announcer again. Ready to announce the next match. He's saying, give it up for Chris Titan here. He's a rookie, but he still put it down in that match, ladies and gentlemen. Selbe Fans, wir kommen zum dritten Match des Abends. Es ist ein Singles Match und angesetzt auf einen Fall. Another one fall match coming up. Oh, here he is, Kem Kaplan, a.k.a. the Sultan of Wrestling from Berlin, Germany. Look at him here at 6 foot 1, 209. He is an Adonis here. He's uh, ready to go to work here and show off his wrestling skills. He's widely known in Berlin with his high amount of matches he's gained and a lot of experience over the few years here. He, you know, he's a powerhouse mostly. Uh, he's known from the German Wrestling Federation. Uh, he never uh, hesitates to put his enemy down to the mat. And in addition, he's got some great technical ability. He's very dangerous with the opponents. Kaplan likes to prove his superiority by showing his uh, highly trained body there. But he's going to have his uh, work cut out for him. And look at this rock star right here from heaven and hell. Mr. Half Angel, Half Demon. Yes, it is. Damon Saint. Six foot 165 of a rock star. Saint claims that he's not from this world and he's an alien of some sort, some, some, some kind of creature. Half demon, half angel, who is unable to find his place on Earth except in rock and roll, as you can see here. He's rocking it out. He's got a high acrobatic style with uh, high flying action. And Saint is very fast and talented performer, but uh, there seems to be uh, always that wall that separates his feeling from anyone else. He says it's brave to be different, so he follows his own way, which led him to uh, wrestling Jim Harz and uh, right into the heart of the rock and roll, as you can see here. He's rocking it out. The crowd is loving it. You know who isn't loving it? Right there, Kem Kaplan. He is all of business, you can see. He's like, what the hell, I came to wrestle. Not listen to you jam out. Kevin Kaplan there, ready to wrestle, but uh, David Saint ain't done rocking out yet. Here he is, still going around the ring. And he's still rocking out nonstop. Ladies and gentlemen, he may rock all night if he can. We'd like to see some wrestling here, though. <laughs> Kevin Kaplan agrees. Here he is. He's uh, jumping around. Like, come on, let's get into action here. He's been throwing out something here. Trying to get the crowd behind him here before the match begins. Ref's going to put that guitar out of the way there so uh, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> We're gonna check him. Oh, there he is. Ring the bell. And there we are. We're underway. Kim Kaplan uh, sizing him up. There goes the tie up. Oh, Kim Kaplan showing off the power there with that nice push. Ooh, gets in the ref's face for saying something here. Well, there goes it in. Another tie up. Kim Kaplan, oh, he's got the arm. 
Nice little arm bar. He's going to turn him. Whoa, what a nice flip there by Damon Saint. Damon Saint twisted around, and he's got his own arm back. Oh, what a nice little flip there. Oh, look at him twist the arm. Kem Kaplan, oh, headbutting the hand. That's something I've never seen there. Very vicious. Damon Saint spins around. Oh, throws him. Nope, reversal. Kem Kaplan, oh, and he missed him. Damon Saint, one, two. Oh, nice little roll up there that was. Damon Saint in the corner. Uh, Kem Kaplan rushes. Oh, he sunset. Whoa, he got him. One, two. Nice drop kick there by Damon Saint. Damon Saint going back to the corner, getting the crowd riled up here. He runs in. Oh, monkey flip. There it is. Had a nice pause like a Prince Persia climbing on the walls and stuff. Kim Kaplan's going to get himself a breather and rest his back. And he's getting counted here. Yeah, Damon's, Damon's getting the crowd riled up. I thought he was going to jump on him there. Kim Kaplan. No, got him. No. Jaw jacker on the rope there. Here he goes off the ropes. Kim Kaplan. Boom. Nice shoulder tackle. And he's going to flex up for the crowd here. Oh, doing some push-ups, some push-ups to show off his uh, masculinity here. Oh, nice shoulder tackle. There it is, back to the push-ups. Boom, nice little spear, and he's going to flex it up again. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out there by Damon Saint. Oh, he's telling him you better count right. Fixes the knee pad. Comes in here and grabs Saint by the head. Oh, a nice little forearm there. Gets him into the corner. Oh, kick to the midsection. Coming with another one. And he's going to start stopping him. That one's got him by the neck. Oh, a nice shot to the back. Damon's feeling that one. Oh, is he going to go for some kind of suplex here? Straight up, but no. Roll up. One, two. Damon Saint almost had an upset there. At least I would believe is an upset here. His Kem Kaplan is quite the physique. Oh, nice little back elbow there. And Damon Saint is down. Cover. One, two. And a kick out there. It's two only. Kem Kaplan angry by that call there. Oh, look at him smash his head on the ropes there. Oh, how brutal. Ooh, ref's going to count him, though. He only got to the count of five, and he's got to disqualify him. He's calling for a 619. That was not a 619, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear the disappointment in the crowd. One, two, and a kick out here by Damon Saint. Uh, Kemba gonna rearrange his uh, knee pads there again. Gotta be safe. Kim Kaplan gonna Irish whip him here. No, he's got him on the back. Damon Saint got him. Oh, reversal again. Kem Kaplan from behind with a nice blow there. Gonna pick him up for the sidewalk slam. There it is. Cover. One, two, and a kick out. Kem Kaplan marching around the ring here. Oh, he's uh, striking up the band here. We'll be seeing a super kick coming in this future for uh, Damon Saint here. No, no, he's going to pick him up. And he goes for a power slam. No, into the corner. Damon Saint with a kick. Oh, underhook suplex here. The crowd is loving it. Damon Saint trying to get his, his mentality together here. 
He's going to go for the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Kem Kaplan. They didn't say he can get into his feet here. Gonna have to, he's going to have to get back to that uh, high-paced action if he wants to keep Kem Kaplan grounded. Oh, he's starting to rock up here. Rock up and rock out. There it is, the crowd getting behind him. Yep, and he's waiting for Kem to get up here. What's he going to go for? Whoa, nice. Got him on the back again here. Oh, he may not have got all of that one, but he definitely got some of it here. He's going to go for a cover maybe? Yes. One, two, and a kick out there. Wow, what power there by Kem Kaplan on that kick out. You can see his face there. He's holding it. He got hit in the face. Damon Saint looks like he may be going up high risk here. He's climbing the top ropes. Oh, the fans here. On behind him, you can hear him. Here he goes. Swanton, no! The demons rise and angels fall. But he took a fall of his own as Kem Kaplan got out of the way of that finish there. Could Kem be looking for the Sultan's Clash here? Here he goes. Well, the shoulders, but no, Damon's in a fight out. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, he's back. No, the back is too injured. He cannot support him anymore. There goes Kem back up again. Here he goes. Oh, Sultan's Clash for the cover. One, two, three. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Kem Kaplan. He's who I want to put my money on, I'm just saying. Look at that physique. He doesn't want the ref to raise his hand. He can raise his own. And there is your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Kem Kaplan. A nice display of dominance here. Damon Saint almost had him with the Demon's Rise and Angel's Fall, but Kem Kaplan was able to get out of the way and hit the Sultan's Clash for the victory. And there he is, Unlimited Wrestling, one of their finest. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Back to our uh, ring announcer. He's telling him, give it up for Damon Saint. Hopefully he can get a gig tonight at the bar. So, liebe Fans, wir kommen zum nächsten Match des Abends. Es ist erneut ein Singles Match und angesetzt auf einen Fall. One fall, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is this the infamous? Is it? It is. It's it's Netflix. Yes, there he is. From Salzgitter, Germany. He's a 5'8", 165. He's a newcomer from the uh, wrestling Jim Harz. He's a dancer with heart and great attitude who always can brighten up anybody's day with a smile. He's got that high-flying style and a little bit of charm. And it's always easy to get the crowd on his side. Look at him just chilling. He's Netflix and chill. That's what he is right here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to have quite a day today because uh, he's got some uh, fierce competition. But uh, at the moment, he's getting the crowd going with a little bit of his dance moves as he just chills and ills. Mr. Ned Flix. are loving his dance tactics here. Look at him clap. But are his dance tactics gonna be enough? And this 
Uh, oh yes, it's Matthias Bernstein here uh, from Flensburg, Germany. A very tall, six foot two, 194. He has one big problem. He's got obsessive compulsive disorder. Kind of scared to get in the ring. He's, uh, he's got a germaphobic up here, you know. Spray on uh, all this disinfectant spray. Oh, look at him! Scared to get in the ring here. But uh, when he gets in there, he's uh, quite a brawler. But, uh, definitely the biggest germaphobe I've seen in wrestling. He, oh, he's gonna make the ref clean his hands too here. Matthias Bernstein here. Now, I'm gonna put my money on him over Netflix over here. But uh, this is not all we have in this match, ladies and gentlemen. Matthias gonna take his shirt off here, it looks like. <laughs> Just <laughs> fold it perfectly there. I wasn't quite sure what he was going for there. I thought he was just being a super germaphobe again, but uh had to fold it too. He's very anal apparently. <laughs> You gotta make sure that the uh, turnbuckles are in place. You don't want to get a, uh, you know, a poked out eye. This kind of stuff can happen. Well, everything's gotta be uh, perfect and in order here. And, uh, well, he's gotta get some more disinfectant spray here now that he's touched some dirty turnbuckles. Can he start? The ref's asking. Can he start? We're gonna start. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? It can't be. Oh my god. It's the president of Pornoland, Captain Penis himself. Mr. Rick Bastard. Cardo Cox here also. Oh, that is some of the nastiest loving I've ever seen. Big uh, six foot two, 216. This guy is a big, big old pimp. <laughs> He's a legend in the German wrestling scene. It's a very unorthodox style and uh, very controversial. He calls himself the king of porn style and uh, that attitude in and out of the ring is offensive, but uh, well, the fans find it contagious, apparently. Got more than 20 years in the business. Uh, uh, yes, that's definitely not uh, your normal spitting of the water there. That was pretty disgusting, honestly. But uh, listen to that funky beat. Oh, is he gonna spit on some more people here? Oh, he does. Right? They actually love it. Look at him. He's smiling and laughing. What, 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 what are they doing? What, what is that? He just came. Oh, some more drinks here. Rick Baxter outside. Uh, Netflix just wants to dance. He's like, hey man, Matthias, we can just dance. They're getting funky out there. He's gonna take off the pimp coat here.
call it over here. Oh, we gotta hold the glasses. You can't break the sunglasses. Oh, she wipes the spit on him. Take the coats. Matthias is just absolutely disgusted here. I'm helping her in uh, by the rear. The technical, de the, uh, technical details worked out here for the ref. Apparently, this is going to be a. Triple threat, maybe here? What are you doing here? Oh man, the germaphobe here. <laughs> Matthias Bernstein here. <laughs> oh yeah, Rick Baxter says he ain't got time for this bullshit. <laughs> Überall sitzt du mit deinem assi kumpan Backstage, säufst Bier und ihr randaliert. Das ist nicht cool. Das ist ein 1 gegen 1 Match, so ist es angekündigt, so steht es auf der Matchcard und so werden wir beide... Seems Netflix has heard enough of it. Du? Du? Kennst du Baxter? Egal wo Baxter ist, Leute, rasten auf! Rick Baxter gonna hump the ring here. Uh, said they're gonna have a three-way. This isn't the normal kind of three-way that Rick Baxter is used to, but uh, I think they're gonna have fun anyways. Uh. Wrestling beyond Titan. Oh, oh. Wrestling beyond Titan. Oh, oh. Wrestling beyond Titan. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Servus. <laughs> hey, Bernstein, du Schleusendunst. <laughs> Such unorthodox tactics here. Wir hatten gerade zwar hinten noch jemand für einen Dreier. Aber habt ihr Bock auf einen Dreier? Mach dein Hals zu, du Nusskasten. Also Leute, hört jetzt auf. Ja? Bevor ihr euch anfangt zu streiten, wir machen ein 1 gegen 1 gegen 1. So, und bevor das Match startet, zu meiner Linken aus Dresden, Sachsen, aus Deutschland, in Begleitung von Miss Baxter. Wow, look at that there. The King of Porn Style. It's getting Baxter. real kinky in the ring here with, with uh, Rick Baxter. talking is starting to take place. Whoa, headbutts. Matthias goes down. And there's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see uh, Rick Baxter and uh, Ned Flicks maybe tie up here. Oh, 
Listen to the chanting. Oh, he's got him by the arm there. Twists him all the way around. There it is, a nice. He's gonna show off there. And Matthias is uh, too disgusted to get back in the ring, it seems. Rick Baxter may be reaching for something here. And, oh, yep, Matthias says he ain't even having it. He don't even want to hear it. Ned Flicks. Got the arm. Oh, he's kicking Rick Baxter right in the butt there. Oh, a nice shot to the belly there. Gonna tie back the arm the other way. Look at the power of Rick Baxter here. Not giving Ned Flix his arm back. It's not very nice. But uh, you can definitely dominate the match this way. But no, oh, Ned Flix got the head down. There it is. He's going to take him down. Headlock. But, oh, look at the leg scissors there. And Ned Flix back to his feet again. Oh, a nice little avoidance there. Oh, a nice little drop kick, but it didn't really phase Rick Baxter. He's just bent down a little. Oh, there's another one into the ropes. Still not enough to do anything, though. Maybe third time's the charm for Netflix. No! Flying crossbody by Rick Baxter. Taking him down. Rick Baxter's going to pick up Netflix here and throw him right outside of the ring. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that job well done. That's the dusting off the hands, showing off the muscle. And oh, Matthias is uh, disgusted by uh, Rick Baxter's lady friend here. He may have just caught hepatitis and herpes. Oh! Back over here, we have some action as uh, Rick Baxter gets hit into the ring post. Oh, Matthias decides to step in and hit Netflix now. Throws him into the ring, and now he's going to slide into that ring. Matthias with a kick. Whoa, she's fanning him off with her, uh, with her flaps there. And Matthias with a T-bone suplex. He needs to go for the cover, but he, I think he's disgusted to even touch the mat. Oh, he's got to check the turnbuckles again. You know that obsessive compulsive disorder will get you. And, whoa, quick roll up from behind. One, two. Ooh, that was a quick count there, ref. Oh, a running knee. Netflix has got him here. Kick to the midsection. Here he goes. Looks like a uh, suplex maybe coming up. There it is. Boom. Executed very nicely. Netflix is calling for the uh, crowd support here. And Netflix runs. Boom. Nice running knee into the corner there. Matthias is down. Down to a knee. Netflix. Oh! Running knee to the back of the head. And, uh, Rick Baxter still trying to be revived here. Match time, five minutes. Match time, five minutes. Oh, Netflix with a leg drop. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out here by Matthias. <laughs> Netflix has got uh, Matthias here. Got him in a sleeper. Matthias has got the ropes, though. The ref's going to have to break it up here. You can see they're both uh, feeling that heat out here. Oh. 
Oh, that chop was brutal. It wasn't one of those slaps. It was a chop. Diagonal like an axe. And, uh, Rick Baxter almost, almost revived over here. Being supported by, uh, well, the things that support that lady on her chest. You know, here come Matthias with the right hand. <laughs> Ned Flicks with an elbow of his own. He's got him in the corner here. Oh, another elbow. Irish whip him here into the corner. Ned Flicks. Oh, he's going to rush him. Boom, with an elbow. Oh, look at a moonwalk there. Oh, but Matthias throws him. And whoa, what a nice Polish hammer. Boom, there's another one. Boom, three Polish hammers. Four. Might as well call this man a carpenter with all the hammers he's throwing out here. Him. Whoa, spinning, sidewalk, slam. Cover, one. Two, and a kick out by Ned Flex. <laughs> Matthias gonna pick Ned Flex up. Boom. Throwing some blows on him here. Next time, Zimut. Wow, look at that. Whoa, misses the big boot. Netflix rolls out of the way into the corner here. Gonna come close on him, but no, he's kicked off. Netflix, boom! Rick Baxter, oh, he drank water. He's disgusted himself. Normally used to only drinking the alcoholic beverages. He'll cool, he'll cool himself down with that water, but he's going to immediately spit it out. He has no use for that as his liver is not used to it. Rick Baxter's back in the ring, finally. He's got a hold of uh, Ned Flicks, but Matthias coming over. And it uh, looks like they may be going for a double suplex on him. Rick Baxter. Oh, Rick Baxter's shaking it off. And he suplexes both of them. Oh, my God. Caught Ned with a brain buster, actually. Oh, Baxter with a chop down. And he chops down Matthias. Oh, back to Ned Flix. And Matthias down. And Baxter is a house of fire here. Gonna go for a DDT, maybe here. Whoa, ducks a clothesline. Kicks that guy. Is this going to be a forward and a reverse DDT? Yeah, and a, a DDT neckbreaker? Jesus, what a combo. He's going to climb the ropes here to the second rope. He's got numerous prey to choose from here. Looks like Netflix may be the closest. Netflix is going to go grab Matthias here. Maybe throw him into him. Oh, a double clothesline there from that middle rope. Baxter should go for a cover here, but he's not going to. He's going to uh, grab Netflix by the head here and throw him out of the ring. Oh, that looked like a low blow to me. Uh, Matthias here. Oh, got hit with a pedigree. One, two, three, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Baxter. From Baxter with Love, ladies and gentlemen. The king of porn style himself. Rick Baxter, a.k.a. Captain Penis. Look at him get down. Having their celebratory alcoholic beverage. And boom! What a cheers.
He didn't even drink that thing. He just threw it all over the crowd. She's not gonna waste it, though. Matthias is uh, a little bit furious there. He had to be uh, involved in such a disgusting, disgusting match with the disgusting opponent is Rick Baxter. But Rick Baxter takes that as a compliment. What a funky bass line, ladies and gentlemen. But that unorthodox style came through today. And Rick Baxter was the victor. The children love him. It's his celebratory kiss and they walk off into the sunset Dancing the porn music. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Unlimited Wrestling bringing you the finest. Das nächste Match ist ein Tag Team Match und dieses Match ist angesetzt auf einen Fall. Next, we have a tag team match for one fall. Here they come, the Swingers Club. Look at them here, swinging it. This is uh, Garrett Noah and Brent Rogers here, the Swingers. Garrett Noah, also known as the King of Cock Style. They're uh, from the clubs of Germany. As you can see, they're clubbing all over the ring here. And the combined weight of 378 pounds together a tag team like no other here in Germany. No other tag team is able to uh, spread the amount of good vibes the, the swingers here do. Whenever they go into a party, oh, everyone wants to be with them and right, right by them and just like them. Look at them just swinging all over the place. And if that isn't enough, they got a huge amount of ring experience and ability. And look, I look forward to seeing them get down tonight. But they've got uh, some fierce competitors to be going against tonight. They've had uh, numerous title runs and uh, they're looking to do something here in uh, Unlimited Wrestling and we're glad to have them here as they just swing it up here. Look at those fine coats. Man, I wish I knew where I could get one of those. Brett Rogers, Garrett Noah, ready for business. Oh, maybe not. Looks like he's having uh, some wardrobe malfunctions here. Uh, oh, he escaped the shirt. He did it. If he can wrestle his way out of his shirt, maybe he can wrestle his way out of this next match. We will see. Garrett Noah there. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Swinging it. Listen to that club beat, ladies and gentlemen. There's some funky dance in there by Brett Rogers. And uh, their opponents here are going to be... Uh, the, uh, well, here they come. There they are. The Saiyans, ladies and gentlemen. There they are. We got Matsi and Martin Guerrero. Oh, there they are, letting their powers combine. Straight from planet Earth at a combined weight of 372 pounds. These guys look like they're from outer space, but when they hit you, they'll send you there. Look at that love. Brothers spreading the love that they got. No, oh, he's gonna give him a hug. He didn't really want to, it looked like, but uh Martin Guerrero and Matsi, they are the Saiyans. They are also the owner of this promotion. And uh we're the last uh next step wrestling tag team champions. 
They've made a great name. Look at them there. Boom. They uh, have their own wrestling school, uh, the wrestling Jim Harz, and uh, now they've, they've uh, completed their dream here with the uh, Unlimited Wrestling, their own promotion. And uh, they're hoping they can do some damage on some of the other tag teams here and bring in some of the best. Because they believe that they are the best on the planet. But they're going to have to show it tonight. Because they're going to have their work cut out for them going up against the Schwinger Club. Oh, he's taking off the protective vest. I think I, I think I would wear the protective vest if I was them. I would think it'd be more of a, a weapon, possibly. You know, you can do a splash with it and bam, do some serious damage. But uh, they like to show off the physiques clearly. But, oh, they're so heavy. Look, this guy can barely even lift them here. Is Brent Rogers gonna start the match here? Now they're both coming in. Let's see. That looks like the, the Saiyans are deciding who's gonna go, and yeah, there comes the Schwingers also deciding. Well, Garrett looks like he's gonna take take control here and says he wants to go in. And Motsi looks like he's gonna start the match as well. So we're gonna have Motsi and Garrett Nola here going at it to start the match. And there's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, Garrett Noah, Motsi. Look at Brent Rogers cheerleading on the ropes there. Oh, they got to stretch into it. Here we go. That's another chance here. Seems like we're having a chant war. The Saiyans are getting cheers, and so are the Schwingers. Here we go. Looks like we're going to finally start the match here. got the arm. Garrett Noah slips him off the ropes. Oh, misses a clothesline. Here he comes back down again. Here he comes. Oh, tries to go for the hip toss, but whoa, nice takedown there by Motsi. Rolls over for the pin. One, two, kick out. Whoa, reversal. Nice little uh, leg takedown there. One. Oh, man, Motsi's quick. Whoa, I didn't even see what happened there. These guys are like lightning. Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. They've got to respect the uh, athletics that each other have here. And uh, well, it looks like Moxie's going to tag out to uh, Martin Guerrero here. Yeah, Brent Rogers wants in too. Are we going to get a double switch here? Yep, here comes Martin Guerrero. And uh, no, it looks like... Uh, Looks like Garrett doesn't want to make the tag here to Brent. No, 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 no. Oh, he gets him from behind here. Martin Guerrero. Whoa, misses. Whoa, he's going to go for a stutter. Garrett's got him by the neck. He's going to wrench the neck here. There he goes. He's got him in a headlock. Took him down to the mat and has got him in a headlock. And uh, Brent Rogers wants the tag here. He's going to get it. Martin doesn't know what's going on, but oh, he goes for the headlock again, but uh, Martin was ready for it. Oh, he slapped right to Martin's face. And boom, Brent Rogers with the body slam. Oh, and that trash talking to go with it. Trying to get the crowd behind him. It's mildly working. But here comes Martin Guerrero. Oh, nice to go for that uh, arm drag, but no. Off the uh, ropes here. Whoa. Nice. Martin Guerrero. Oh, with a flapjack. Taking him down. Puts the boots to him and tags in Motsi. 
We're going to see some double team work here. Pick him up. Oh. Oh, an assisted suplex there. He probably needed it with the extra weight. One, two. Oh, there we go. Match time, five minutes. Match time, five minutes. Oh, Ducks Under. Whoa, nice kick to the face there by Motsi. And Motsi's going to tag Martin back in. Looks like they're going to go for another double team here. Martin off the ropes. Picks him up. Whoa, nice head scissor takedown there. And the Saiyans are putting in some work, ladies and gentlemen. No, oh, wait, he's going to fireman's carry him up here. Is he gonna gorilla press? He gorilla pressed him on top of the swingers. Oh my god! Right into that guardrail in the ground there. Oh, what a celebration, Martin! Uh, you can see he took a little shot to the ribs there himself, though. You gotta watch doing moves like that. You're gonna hurt yourself as well. But the damage is clearly done here as the swingers are down. And, uh, oh, looks like Garrett's gonna throw Brett back in. He ducks the clothesline. Whoa, nice fly, one of his own. Cover, whoa, uh, break of the eyes there, it looked like. Not sure that was legal. Did, apparently didn't see it here. Takes him into the corner here. Oh, here comes a chop. Boom! Yes, he's going to feel that one later. Makes the tag into Garrett Noah. Garrett Noah comes in here. Double team. Boom, nice takedown. Oh, and the mockery begins with a double elbow. One, two, and a kick out by Martin here. Goes back in for that headlock. Garrett gonna work the neck a little bit more. Uh, Martin's back to his feet already. He hits him in the back. Garrett's got him by the head. He's going to go back and make a tag here to Brent. Oh, looks like they're going to whip him into the other corner. No! Oh, take down there. Drop toe hold. Oh, uh oh. Looks like we got the Mexican surfboard. No! Oh, with an elbow drop into the back. Goes for the cover. One, two, and Martin gets another kick out. You can hear the crowd behind the swinger club here. And the Saiyans as well. The crowd is pretty evenly split, it seems. Oh, missed the clothesline. Whoa, and he drops him. Boom, a drop kick, and he's over the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. And he makes the tag to Matsi. Here comes Motsi. And oh, he picks him up. Drops him though. Brett Rogers kicks him right in the leg. And boom, a nice boot to the face there. Taking him down to the mat. And there's the tag to Garrett Noah. Here he is, the King of Cock style with a chop right across the chest. Dropping him into the corner. And another tag. Back in is Brent Rogers. Ah, good work on the face, Amy. A double team here. Oh, he's going to taunt. Taunt Martin there in the corner. Boom! Drop kick to Motsi in the corner here. And he's dropped into the corner. Dazed and confused. Brent Rogers tries to throw himself into him with a cannonball, but misses. Motsi tags in Martin Guerrero here. Martin's calling for the crowd. Oh, wait. Is this a, a Kamehameha here? No, oh, yeah. Whoa, he throws a cannonball of his own. Looks like he's going for sliced bread. There it is. He's down. Is he going to go for the cover? No, he's going to tag Moxie back in here. But look behind him here. Garrett Noah, he doesn't see him. Boom, double drop kick. Got to be aware of everybody in the ring. 
And now everyone is down. Who's gonna get to their feet first, ladies and gentlemen? Looks like Brent Rogers is uh, slowly regaining consciousness here. As is Martin Guerrero. Oh, no, no, Martin's back down. And Brent's reaching for the ropes. And so is Garrett. Motsi back on his feet. Garrett almost there. Brent Rogers, here he comes to Motsi. Whoa, misses. Whoa, and he grabs Brent Rogers in the lower region. Wait a minute, no! Garrett Noah kicked him there by accident. And oh, now his partner, Martin Guerrero. Whoa! And his nut shot season all around. Nuts are in season, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody down. Nobody is going to be having a, uh, a children anytime soon here. They should have all been wearing cups. Everyone is down. Matsi here uh, trying to get back up and get the crowd behind him. Martin Guerrero back up as well, but you can tell he's sore. Brett Rogers to his feet. No, nope, no, not anymore. He's back to a knee. Now the Saiyans look like they're getting together. Uh, some power there. What are they doing? Trying to recover from that low blow, apparently, still. Oh, a nice chop across the face there. And boom, Brent comes in and hits a haymaker of his own. And whoa, he hit his own partner. Garrett just hit Brent. Oh, and a slap across the face. Motsi there with a back body drop. The Saiyans getting their energy here. Getting their energy. Boom! That should be the finish there. That's the knee strike that finishes it. Whoa! Wait a minute! That, fin that should have been the end. Next time, 12 minutes. Come, Garrett! The Genkanama knee strike finishes all their matches. Not today. Whoa, bicycle kick. And the Schwingers are still in this. Brent Rogers here. Boom, with a foot stomp. Covers him. One, two, and a kick out here. Saved by Motsi. Motsi rushes him into the corner with a clothesline. Uh-oh, Brent's got Motsi, but oh, Motsi's throwing the elbows. And Motsi throws Brent over the ropes. Oh, Garrett accidentally kicked his own partner, Brent, again. This has got to be the third time he's accidentally hit his partner this match. And the Saiyans look like they're ready to finish him off here. Boom! Look at that. They're calling for the energy. Are they going to go for the... Again, Kadama knee strike again. Looks like they're getting ready. The Saiyans are the crowds behind him. There it is. Go boom. The Gen Kadama knee strike. Cover. One, two, three, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Saiyans take it home. Martin Guerrero take the W here. While the Schwingers are gonna have to take that long walk home with that L. And there they are, the Saiyans, ladies and gentlemen, celebrating in all of their glory. That vicious knee strike ending another one. I look forward to what they are going to do here in Unlimited Wrestling. Could they be, dare I say, the next Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Champions? That is yet to see.
Don't go away, ladies and gentlemen. We still got more action for you. And there goes the Swingers Club. Here's the Saiyans. Whoa, there they are again. Letting their powers combine. Give the crowd some love here, because without the crowd, they wouldn't have the power. But as I said, ladies and gentlemen, we are not done tonight, so don't take off. Don't go anywhere. Don't go for that snap. We still got lots and lots of action here at Unlimited Wrestling. Everybody loves Matsi. There they are again, ladies and gentlemen. Future tag team champions, I dare say. The Saiyans. Unlimited Wrestling. One of the finest. We do it immediately. The Minifans come to the 6th match of the evening. It is a singles match. And angesetzt auf einen Fall. One fall! Go with it. A singles match for one fall. Oh, here he comes. The adventurer, Lucas Robinson. He looks like he's fresh out of a backpacking trip here. But he's nice and cut. Got that wilderness look. You, know, you can see he's been all over the world there on that backpack, all those patches. He's an adventurer, he goes from country to country, town to town, and wrestles all over the world. Where he lays his head is home, they say. He was uh, well known at the WXW Academy. He uh, increased a lot of his experience there. Brings a good mood and every fan loves his charismatic behavior. Very flexible, very strong. Lucas Robinson, the adventurer from here and there and everywhere. Coming in at 5'7", 176. Got a brutal fisherman suplex. Hopefully we get to see that tonight. Uh, let's see who he's taking on tonight. What's that gig now? Oh, it's the surfer, Dominic Fisher, surfer boy. 5'9", 169. He's got a beautiful surfing elbow, he calls it. This young man is a student of uh, the wrestling Jim Har school. But, uh, able to gather a lot of experience there in his one year so far. He's had a, a few matches at Next Step Wrestling and the Baltic Championship Wrestling. His charisma gets the fans right behind him to chant his name. His wrestling style's fast and technical, but he's got a lot of innovations as well. Always surfing, uh, always searching for that uh, perfect wave or the better perfect opponent to. The surfer is always searching for his perfect wave or better, the perfect opponent for his wave. He strives and works hard and doesn't even have to break a sweat usually. Dominic Fisher, the surfer boy. And there's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Surfer boy, Lucas Robinson. Nice little handshake. We love to see the sportsmanship. Here we go. Looks like good guy versus good guy today. Surfer Boy's getting some chance of his own here. The adventurer here. Gonna, oh, test of strength. Whoa, a nice trip there. One. Oh, the elbow's up. Pushes it back down. One. Up oh, the other elbow. And the adventurer puts it down. One. Oh, a nice bridge. Stops him down. One. Oh, he kicks him off. What a bridge. 
And up, the legs up. And up, monkey flip. And they're both down. It's a double pin. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. And a double bridge. This is quite interesting. It's like a mirror image here. Yes. Oh, no, he steps over. Steps on. Whoa, gets him down. Didn't work the legs. Nope. Gonna mount him again. One. Up, oh, rolls him up. One. The adventure. One. Oh, rolls him back up. One. Dominic Fisherman, Lucas Robinson going at it. Back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little show of respect there, and uh, off the ropes, goes down. Whoa, and he catches him by the leg there. Gonna tie him up in a submission here. So I don't think Dominic's gonna tap. Oh, he's got the arm as well, whoa! Crucifix, one, two, and a kick out there. And Lucas has got him from behind here. Goes down, whoa, and he trips. Dominic Fisher, one, two, whoa! Drop kick, excellently executed. And the adventurer, Lucas Robinson here. Gonna get him here, twists the arm, takes him for the Irish whip. Ducks down, but oh, surfer boy was ready this time and surfs a wave over him. Oh, a little taunting here. Now a kick to the stomach and a slap to the face. Back off the rope, surfer boy. Nice job there. He's gonna step on him. He's gonna ride the wave on him. Look at it. Oh, Lucas is not very, very kind to that. He ducks down over that. Well done there by uh, Lucas Robertson, the venture using his experience here. One, two, and a nice kick out there. Surfer boy is not ready to go down. Lucas Robinson uh, here gonna pick up Dominic Fisher here. Irish whip into the corner. Boom with that elbow. And he flips him over off the ropes. Boom, drop kick. Cover, one, two, and a kick out. Non-stop action here at Unlimited Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Long oh, Dominic Fisher, not ready to go down. He hits him with a couple blows, but he blocks this one. Whoa, oh, Lucas Robinson spins around, and there we go. Drops him. One, two, and a kick out. And the crowd getting behind Surfer Boy here. Got him in a full Nelson here. The adventurer using those tactics when he uh, would wrestle Gators in back in the day. Oh, no, nice little elbows there. Boom, boom, and he, the, uh, the Surfer Boy has uh, escaped here. He's go, oh, he's looking for a fisherman buster of his own, it looked like. Off the ropes, boom, with a back elbow. And the adventurer goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out. Oh, he looks, looks like Lucas is going back for that full Nelson here. Dominic is fighting it here. And the crowd getting behind the surfer boy again. As he gets to his feet, oh, no! wrenches on that full Nelson and takes it back in. Tightens it up here. Well, you can see uh, Surfer Boy maybe weakening. No, no, he's he's uh, getting every bit of strength he's got down, lapped in his gut. Look at him trying to get it out. He's trying his hardest to escape. He's getting one leg off. There's the other. And he's still trying to escape. Almost to his feet. There he is. 
Can he get the arms off? But oh, Lucas is really working it. Oh, he's trying. Lucas still got it locked in. Whoa! Back elbow there. Boom, and a kick to the mid lower midsection. Now he's going to go for a fisherman buster of his own, but no. Suplex. Ducks the chop. Kick to the lower midsection here. It goes for a boom! A fisherman suplex. Brad is getting behind the serpent boy here. Boom with an elbow. Boom, a headbutt. No, oh, an elbow, elbow, elbow. Lucas goes for the clothesline, misses off the ropes, and boom, a back elbow by Dominic Fisher, and another one. Server Boy is getting it. Picks him up. Whoa. That was like a 480 body slam, ladies and gentlemen. And whoa, it took everything out of him. He's hit the mat himself. Boom, into the corner. And Surfer Boy, well, taunting again. Flying crossbody cover. One, two, and a kick out here by Lucas Robinson. The adventurer trying to get back to his feet here. Surfer Boy has taken the advantage here. Look at the neck there. You can see the damage from that uh, full Nelson that uh, the adventurer was working on him. Server boy here is climbing to the top rope. Here comes the adventurer. Whoa, and he jumps over him. Boom, what a clothesline. And the adventurer is picking him up here. Boom, drops him. One, two, and a kick out by the surfer boy. And he picks up the surfer boy again. <laughs> surfer boy's wiggling. Here he goes. Cover. One, two, and a kick out. Surfer boy with a nice shot to the knee there. And a kick right to the chin. Oh, he's going to ride the wave. Here he is. Riding the wave on him. Boom, surfer elbow, the surfing elbow cover. One, two, three, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Dominic Fisher, the surfer boy. Right in that wave, ladies and gentlemen, hitting that surfing elbow. Takes the win by pinfall. What a great match. I thought he was done when he got hit with that clothesline there, but he held in and was able to hit that surfing elbow for the victory. Uh, looks like Lucas Robinson shows the sign of respect. You gotta love this, ladies and gentlemen. Both great competitors put on a great match. He ended amicably with a handshake. That's what we love to see. Surfer Boy taking a bow and uh, taunting him some more with that surf. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Surfer Boy, Dominic Fisher. He's got quite a future here in Unlimited Wrestling. I look forward to calling more of his matches in the future. New fans. Seid ihr bereit für den Main Event des Abends? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our Main Event. Meine Frage erneut. Seid ihr bereit für den Main Event des Abends? Ja! Ihr sollt ihn bekommen. Dieser Main Event ist ein Singles Match und angesetzt auf einem Fall. One Fall! And it's scheduled for one fall, ladies and gentlemen.
Everybody is waiting in anticipation here for our main event. We had a limited wrestling and uh, spared no expense and brought in the top stars here. For our main event tonight, here is Fast Time Mudo. The guy with the hardest kicks. 5'11", 180, he's a black belt. You gotta give it up to him, he's got the skills. And when he says he's the guy with the hardest kicks, he's absolutely right. At the age of just five, he discovered his motivation for martial arts and train. He's an owner of a black belt, as I said, that has won more than 30 trophies and awards over the years. At age 15, he was third place at the martial arts World Cup in Seoul. Voodoo is always searching for new challengers, and his in-ring style is fast, technical, and is modified with his martial arts skills. He's only been in the ring since 2014, but he now looks like one of the youngest hot talents in the wrestling Germany scene today. But he is facing an absolute legend tonight. <laughs> Most experience on the card, a true legend, Joe E. Legend. Six foot four, 252, a massive beast from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yes, it is Joe E. Legend. As his state states, he is a real legend. He's this Canadian here is a uh, old school WWE and TNA star and had lots of great matches and big feuds in America all over the world too before he met his wife and moved to Hanover, Germany. Now he is best known as a trainer who travels wrestling schools all over Europe. In addition, he is still able to have a in-ring career that is successful and still looks great at the age of 50. Joe has been in the business since 1992 and has the biggest amount of experience of everybody here at the Unlimited Wrestling roster. He's also a trainer at the Wrestling Gym Hards. Yes, give it up for Joe E. Legend. I fondly remember his WWE days. Even though it was only a short run, it was a great one and it was very, very entertaining. I look forward to calling his match tonight and uh, Fast Time Mudo is going to have a problem because this guy can wrestle. But can he take kicks? The hardest and fastest kicks in the world. We will find out, ladies and gentlemen. Joe E. Legend, the man, the myth, the legend. There he is. Rest searching to make sure he ain't got any weapons here. <laughs> Liebe Fans, wir kommen zum ersten Main Event in der Geschichte von Unlimited Wrestling hier in Nordhausen. Give it up for Nordhausen. One fall, ladies and gentlemen. Aus Leipzig, Deutschland, mit einem Gewicht von 92 Kilogramm. The guy with the hardest kicks in this business. He was born to fight. Fast time, Moodoo. Fast time, Moodoo. There he is, the guy with the hardest kicks. Fast time, Mudo. Gotta give it up for Canada. And there he is, a true legend.
There he is, the ref checks. There's the bell. And oh, they're going to stand up face to face. Oh, nice little show of respect here. Here we go. Into the match, here we come. And they begin circling the ring. Oh, Moodoo trying to get the fans behind him here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway. And oh, looks like Fast Time's got the arm there. He's wrenching it. Oh, look at look at Joe going for the jaw there. Up, oh, he goes under the arm and twists it back, and now the pressure's right back on Fast Time Udo. He's got the advantage himself here. I don't think so. <laughs> no, Joey doesn't think so. And now he's got the fingers. He's going to work the fingers here. Giving him a, a little bit of a chant there, I guess. <laughs> High fives. Oh, he's going to roll out here. Nice little kip up here. Oh, he's got the arm. But uh, Joey's going to push him into the ropes. Off the ropes. Here he comes. Boom! Nice hip toss there by Joey Legend. Here he goes. He's gonna pick him up. No! And Fast Time's gonna roll out of the way. He knows he's dangerous business. Just that close. 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 It was just about over for Fast Time. That would have been a quick one. Yeah, he's gonna give him his uh, his daps there and respect. Here we go, we're gonna go back up with the test of strength here. And oh, look at him push him. I don't think Fast Time's gonna win this one if you look at the physiques here. Joey has much, much more muscle here. You can already see him uh, dominating here. He's got already uh, Fast Time down to one knee here. Oh, Fast Time's gonna work the fingers though. Turns the wrist and is working the fingers. And oh, there's a nice knee to the hand there. And now uh, Joey Legend here. He's got his own wrist lock in. Oh, Fast Time's going to try to spin out here. And he does. And he's doing barrel rolls all over the ring. Gonna take himself a little break. Joey looks like he's admiring the work. <laughs> there he is. An applause of approval. Here we go again, another tie. -up. Oh, headlock by Joey Legend here. He's wrenching it, he's working on it. Fast time fighting out here. He's got it. Oh, Fast time's got it now. Fast time has the headlock. He's going to go up against the ropes here. Off the ropes. Oh, his head hit the top rope there. Oh, it really got him good. And now Joey's going to pound into it. There he comes with his own wrist lock again. That's all right, I got him. Tightening it in. Fast time's not ready to give up yet. Here he is, rolling out again, rolling back. Rolling back, fourth. Here he goes, up, oh, trying to get his own, but nope. Joey Legend's got him, Irish whip. Try to go for that hip toss, but nope. Ooh, fast time with a hip toss of his own. Setting him up. Whoa, oh, was going for that kick there. That black belt kick, it's a dangerous, and he's hes gonna tell him he was this close as well. Turnabout is fair play, Mr. Legend. Very cute. Joey Funny. Legend calling it cute. Funny. Another show of respect here. We gotta love it. Here we go. Another tie up. Oh, last time got the headlock first here. He's trying to wrench him down. Uh, Joey's trying to get the crowd behind him here. Pushes him to the ropes. Oh, I'm swinging a miss. Ducks under. 
Whoa, right hand, but a block. Boom, right hand, but a block. They both go for the kick. Whoa, Joes goes down. Take it easy. Take it easy. Telling him to take it easy. They go again, circling each other again here. Boom, another tie up. Oh, he's got the arm. There it is again. Oh, he's, now he's from behind. Joey Legend's got the ropes, though. He's holding on. A veteran maneuver here. Oh, elbows him off. And Fast Time's feeling that one. What's wrong with you, man? Ooh. Now he pushed him off. Things are getting serious. He knows he's like, hey, you hit me in the jaw pretty hard there. This is a wrestling match. How are you, princess? You can see that fast time is pretty heated here. A chop across the chest. Ow. Oh, and he fires back with a chop of his own. You want to hit people? You want to try that crap with me? Oh, got a little more harder this time. Oh, and he fires back. It's chop City, ladies and gentlemen. The Battle of the Lumberjacks. Here we go. Oh, head to head. Like two pit bulls going at each other. And the ref's going to separate them up here. All right, all right, all right. All right. Start fresh. Come on. Joey puts a hand out. Okay. Come on. Give me a second. Come Fast on. time says no. No and kicks it away. Joey's giving him one more chance. Shake the hand. Shake the hand there, son. There it is. There it is. The sign of respect. Gotta love it. Every time. But no! Fast time! Kicks Joey Legend right in the stomach here. Throws him into the turnbuckle. Boom, boom. Here comes those kicks. The guy with the hardest kicks. He comes in with some punches too. And now he's in the ref's face. The ref's telling him you've only got a count of five there in the corner. Here he comes back with the chops, the kicks, the punches. And the ref's going to try to stop him again. If he gets to the count of five, he'll be disqualified. So he needs to watch himself here. Listen to the booze. Ooh, he's gonna try to choke him in the corner. One, two, three. And the rest gonna pull him off here before he gets to the count of five. Because the fans do not want to see this end in a disqualification. Listen to the fans' disapproval. But fast time doesn't care. Here comes Joey Legend with a kick. Throws him into the turnbuckle here. And he's gonna take him back to the other corner. Boom! Right in the face. There he is. He's going. He's going around the world. Seems like he is. There's third. He's rounding third, and he's coming home here. Is it gonna be the home run? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Number four. Boom! And you can see him stunned there as he hits the mat. Joey calling for a cheer. Joey Legend going to work on Fast Time Moodoo here. Winds up. Oh, looks like he got the eyes. The ref's gonna tell him you need to watch yourself there. That's that could be a possible disqualification if you keep that up there. Slap to the face there. He's gonna Irish whip him into the corner. Boom! Oh, hit the turnbuckle hard, and he's feeling it in his back there. And up, Joey's calling for one more time. Pushes him by the face into the corner. Such, such a sign of disrespect. Here's the Irish whip. Boom! And against the turnbuckle again. And look at him writhe in pain as his back could be possibly injured and broken. One more time. Is he going to go three? He's got the champ here going. Pushes him back into the corner. Here he goes. Oh, wait. Ooh, a nice little shot there. There he goes for that third time. Boom! And that back is torn. It looks like he's calling for an elbow here. Oh, and the ref gets in the way here. 
hold the ref in the way. Joey's gonna pull him out of the way, but oh, fast time with the Pearl Harbor from behind. Taking him down. Coward! Boom! Kick to the stomach there. Boom! Kick to the neck. And here he is, stepping right on Joey's face. Oh, so disrespectful. Very painful. Ref's only got to give him a count of five. He's holding the ropes there. That's a disqualification if he gets to five. And now he's going to sit on him, choking him on the ropes there. Three. Oh, man, the ref's got to break this up. Joey trying to recover over here. Fast time wants to get back in there and continue. Continue this onslaught. Here he goes. He's got him choked up in the ropes again. This is only a five count, ladies and gentlemen. And the ref's gonna break it again. <laughs> ref being very lenient in this match, as we do not want to see our main event end in a disqualification. Send him to the dentist. Right, Joey. Next time, 10 minutes. Around the ring Next here. Oh, a slap to the face. There he goes again. Another slap. Oh, he's taunting him. Boot to the chops. That boot. Putting the boots in. He pushes him in the face there. Boom. Oh, nice right hand to the face. Kick to the leg. And another one. And a right, right hand to the stomach. There's another one. The ref's going to tell him he's still only got a count of five over there. Oh, spinning leg kick. And uh, Joey's down. Boom! Rushes in with the elbow in the corner there. In fast time, Mudo is ready to go. Taking too much time here. He really needs to take advantage of Joey Legend while he's down. He can't let him uh, recoup here because uh, he's going to come back and be a house of fire. Got him up. We'll cover one, two, and a kick out there. It's too early to put him away there. Oh, a nice kick to the back, though. Joey trying to get the crowd behind him. Here we go. Chop to the chest here. Last time he's got the Irish whip here, off the ropes. Joey comes back, kick to the face. And Joey throws him into the corner here. He rushes. Oh, fast time jumps over though, and he hits the turnbuckle there. Joey's gonna be hurting from that one for sure. You can see him uh, milk in the shoulder there. He really got hurt. Cover. One, two. No. Joey's not giving up. Trying to get the crowd behind him here. No. Oh, kick to the back. Oh, kick to the gut. And the crowd's getting behind Joey. You can hear him now. Joey off the ropes. Oh, he holds on, though. That spinning kick goes nowhere. Fast time is down. And he's uh, feeling the... The uh, after effects of those uh, turnbuckle Irish wits earlier. And, whoa, fast time trying to dodge him, but Joey stopped. Stopped at his traps and kicked him right in the butt. He's got fast time to the outside here. He's going to run him into the turnbuckle. Oh, there he is. Boom. And Joey's going to pick him up here. He's going to go for uh, some kind of suplex. Yes, he's calling for it. Fast time. Here he goes. Boom. Nice execution here, Joey Legend. No, I thought he was gonna go for some kind of elbow drop, but he just got kicked right in the face. And you can hear it, ladies and gentlemen. One. Two, then I kick out the This Is Awesome chance. This is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Unlimited Wrestling.
boom, boom, with the right hands comes fast time. And he's kicking him. He's hitting him hard. Joey Legend up in the corner here. What else? Spending way too much time talking to the crowd and uh, getting sucked into their baiting here. Boom! Chop across Joey Legend's chest. Some right hands to the back of the head. Couple shots under the ribs. Kick to the leg. He's got a combo here going in. Nice chop to the chest there. Doesn't seem to uh, phase Joey. Oh, Joey looks like he's uh, psyching himself up here. They don't seem to be phasing him. No, he's got him in the corner and chops of his own. Look at him go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Ref says stop it, but he says no. Irish whip into the corner. Fast time jumps over and a club to the back. Here he comes. Ducks under. Up to the top. Oh, he got him there. One, two, and a kick out. No, a kick there. He's got him down. Joey is down. Baiting to the crowd again. He should not be doing this. He needs to focus on the work here. As Joey is a legend. And up, you can see Joey getting back to his feet here. Fast times at the top. Tries to stomp him here. Joey ducks. And oh, they both go for the clothesline, but they're both standing still. And here he goes. Oh, Joey turns him inside out with that one. Excellent clothesline. But it took all the gas that Joey had left, possibly, as he is down as well. And the crowd is getting behind him. You can hear them chanting his name. And there they are again, the chance. This is awesome. The people are loving it. They definitely have gotten their money's worth tonight. Boom, right hand by Joey. Boom, another one. And a third. And here he is, powering it up off the ropes. Oh, tries to go for the hip toss, but no. Here comes Joey Legend firing back some more. Boom, 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 non-stop. one here it seems like this time to stun boom flipped him inside out oh here he is trying to get the crowd behind him again he looks like he's gonna go for it boom there's that elbow one two and a kick out There we go. Andre, finish him! Oh, he said he's going to try to finish him here. Whoa, fast time goes to the clothesline. He ducks here. And, uh, here comes uh, Joey Legend. He's got him up. Nope. Reversal pushes to the ropes. Fast time. Oh, catches an elbow. And up, oh, Joey's calling for an elbow himself to give him another one. Boom! The lights are out, but no one is home. Here comes Joey Legend. He's going to pick him up and drop him. Alexa, shut the fuck up. And that was so close, ladies and gentlemen. Just a two count. And their crowd is calling for one more, one more time. One more time. One more time. But he's going up. One more time. One more time. Looks like he's gonna take the take the punches to him. He's telling him, hold on here. One, two, three. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There it is. No! Oh, fast time. Pulls the legs out from under him like the carpet and drops him down to the mat. Last time is uh, feeling that on his head there. You can see the 
damage has been done. Oh, the trash talking. Here he goes. Tries to suplex him, but no. Joey's not going to go easy. Boom. Throws him himself here. And whoa, he's taking down the knee pad here. He means business. Getting the crowd behind him. Here he goes. Boom. Running knee to the face, and he is down. One, two, and a kick out by Fast Time. That count was a little slow. If the ref would have got there in time, that might have been three. But Joey doesn't seem like he's going to argue here. He's going to pull the knee pad back up here and uh, try to get the crowd behind him and finish it here. Oh, he tried to Irish whip him, but uh, fast time with an elbow. Boom, boom, a nice combo here. Here come the kicks. Oh, spinning leg kick there. Tripped him to the ground. Fast time. Match time, 20 minutes. Match side, 20 minutes. Fast time thinking about going up here as he stops him and puts the boots to him. Here he goes. High risk maneuver coming up in the future here. And in too much time, fading to the crowd again. the stop boom to the back could that be all last time with a cocky cover one two and a kick out if he had a covered with the legs he might have got the three there but he had to be cocky and covered with a single foot it was not enough to put away the legend here he is in the corner could he be looking for that kick that black belt kick he's put away so many opponents with He's calling for it. Joey's trying to get back to his feet here. And whoa, he's swinging a miss with that foot there. Joey's gonna pick him up. Boom, and he dropped him. There it is, cover. One, two, three, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Joe E. Legend. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the legend does it again and puts away Fast Time Mudo. And that is all we have for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the legend himself. There he is, Joey Legend. And you can see the fans are happy and pleased with the show we have put on today from Unlimited Wrestling. And your winner of our main event tonight Joe E-Legend. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is a true legend. As Fast Time cowers in the corner here. Of his loss. I'm not sure who uh, Joey is signaling here in the crowd. Whoa, Fast Time. This Maybe this isn't over here. Time holding his head. He seems maybe there's some animosity here. Oh, he bows. Sensei, show of respect here. Puts the hand out. Joey asking the crowd, should he do it? Is he sincere? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And we gotta love that sign of respect. Great match, and he's gonna hold his hand up there. Such a sign of respect. That's what you get here at Unlimited Wrestling. True, hardcore, innovative wrestling at its best with nothing but the finest in professional wrestling today. Pure, respectful wrestler. And uh, Joey's saying to kill the music here. But no, they let it keep playing anyway. I guess that was a short version. <laughs> Thank you, merci, spasiba, danke schön. There it is. Thank you in so many languages. And there's a little something I'm going to add to this. 
You see, Monday is my birthday. And I'm going to be an old bastard of 50. But the best part about this is, I want to thank Unlimited Wrestling for all of you guys coming up. But also, for the very first time, my, my twin sons were able to see me wrestle live, and it's with you guys. What a heartwarming moment. His two sons got to see him wrestle for the first time. So thank you to Unlimited Wrestling. And as Unlimited Wrestling grows, we want to come back. We want to keep taking our time building this promotion up and making you guys keep you guys your money's worth. So you keep coming. You keep busting our asses. That's what we like to hear, ladies and gentlemen. And that would be absolutely selfish to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, Joe E. Legend, a true professional. And he's not bad, sir. Joe E. Legend, one time in Biden, King Dunn. He's working the crowd up here. Whoa, there they are. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Maybe his sons could be future stars here, in the future here, at Unlimited Wrestling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've had quite a match. And uh, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those shows you're probably going to want to go back and hit rewind and watch a few times. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am JJ Jerry Jenkins. And thank you for joining us here at Unlimited Wrestling. And you can hear it. He still got it. Make sure to follow on Twitter at WeAreUnlimitedW.